A team of UC San Diego students is preparing to test this one-of-a-kind rocket engine. The students say they're the first group in the world to build one from a 3D printer. A new at 5, 10 News reporter Matt Mendez shows us what the demonstration will look like and how this could impact future trips to space. This rocket engine is loud and powerful. This is home video of the first time the group of UC San Diego students tested their new 3D printed engine back in October. They're the first group of students to build one of its kind. Now they're getting ready to test it again. Our test is trying to prove if it's as reliable as a traditionally made engine. So this research is going to pave the way for cheaper uh, human access to orbit. The group consists of nine students who are part of UCSD's Students for the Exploration and Development of Space, or SEDS. They've named their engine Tri-D because it took them three days to print. The printer is able to read each slice and then print it up bo from bottom to top. The liquid-fueled metal engine is about 10 inches long and weighs 10 pounds. It's designed to launch into space carrying tiny satellites. Lowering the cost to get to space will allow us to um, put satellites in space at a cheaper cost, which, you know, then we can get more information that ultimately benefits society as a whole. So that means satellites for cell phone companies, research firms, cable, and internet. It's a project we all may be able to benefit from. Each student on the team has worked about 20 to 30 hours a week putting it together. I think aerospace engineering is still going strong. It's an impacted major here at the Jacobs School of Engineering, and uh, I think that with projects like these and ambitious students, it'll, it'll, aerospace engineering will continue to live on. Big dreams for these undergrad students. The team's next test will take place Saturday afternoon at a special rocketry facility in the Mojave Desert. Matt Mendes, 10 News. That rocket engine cost close to $5,000 to build. The money was funded by NASA. The team also raised about $1,000 more for research tools as well.